Hello and welcome to Istanbul, a city right on the edge of Europe and it seems fitting for St. Patrick's Athletic heading into an absolutely massive night for the club. They stand on the edge of their first ever European group stage qualification. Istanbul, Bakshakshir stand in their way on Wednesday's second leg. That's a five o'clock kickoff Irish time with the score standing at a nil-nil from last week's first leg in Tala. So I'm here at the Bakshakshir Faith Tream Stadium built in 2014. It's named after a famous Turkish defender. About a 17,000 capacity here uh, just north of the city centre, but they usually get far, far less from, uh, for their home games. Uh, here uh, expecting about five to six thousand fans here tonight so about similar uh, numbers that you had in last week's first leg at Tala so as I said it's all to play for it's zero zero uh, the ties finally in the balance you can see the St. Patrick's athletic squad warming up there behind me getting used to their surroundings getting used to the heat I spoke to uh, Stephen Kenny and uh, winger Jake Mulraney uh, a little bit earlier on today. You can find both those pieces in uh, Wednesday's Irish Independent. But just looking at the game, about 100 Pats fans have uh, travelled, uh, made the long trip from Dublin for Wednesday's game. I spoke to one of them uh, in the airport a couple of days ago, flying out, who she was actually one of the 12 in uh, Azerbaijan for the last round, uh, one of the famous 12 who uh, made the long, long trip uh, to Baku for their third round clash. Uh, but they've progressed now, St. Pat's, and face into an absolutely massive uh, second leg playoff here this evening where they'll look to do something, as I said, they've never done before and qualify for a European group stage for the first time ever, joining the likes of uh, Shamrock Rovers and Dundalk uh, who've uh, reached that goal uh, before. Just a bit of team news, Romal Palmer uh, left the pitch injured in the first half of that first leg. He's set to miss the next four to six weeks with a knee ligament injury and a back issue continues to rule out Keane Kavanagh. So Kenny will be without the two of them but no other injury concerns to report as they get used to the surroundings as, as you can see there behind me. Pats have only been at this stage uh, one step away from group stage twice in their history, but they'll be looking to uh, make history on Wednesday night and reach the group stage for the first time. Uh, that progression would see them bank 3.6 million euro in uh, UEFA prize money with uh, much more hundreds of thousands of euros on the line for uh, each Conference League group stage win as well as a draw. So um, that sum could rise even further should uh, the Saints get the job done here. Just a little bit about the Saints opposition on Wednesday, founded in 1990 by the mayor of Istanbul. Uh, they've been kind of criticized by supporters of Istanbul's top three of Galatasaray, Besiktas and Fenerbahce for kind of being a little bit of a how would you call it, a government club. They have a lot of links to, uh, several, several links to Turkish president uh, Erdogan, but it's something the club have always uh, have always denied. They they said they're, they're not a government club, they're purely a football club. They won their first title in 2019-2020, uh, the uh, COVID-affected season, and it was the first time in a long, long time that uh, a team from Istanbul outside the big top three uh, won the Turkish league title. They've played European group stage football in four out of the last seven seasons. So a lot of European experience in their in their side. Uh, and Stephen Kenny says it's a big amount of decline for his side, uh, but they'll be hoping to get over the line here tomorrow evening and make history with about 100 Pats fans uh, watching on from the stands. As I said about a crowd roughly uh, the size of what was at the first leg in Tala last week, about five to six thousand. So, kind of your inclination when an Irish team is going to a big club and in Istanbul is that we all know the scenes from the derbies in Fenerbahce, the European nights in Besiktas and Galatasaray, really hostile atmospheres, uh, really intimidating atmospheres. But um, that probably won't be the case here tomorrow uh, with uh, so few in attendance compared to those big top three. Uh, 
uh, Istanbul sides. So yeah, you can follow all the build up uh, across uh, the day with the Irish Independent. As I said, I'll have an exclusive interview with Stephen Kenny and Jake Mulroney uh, to come on Wednesday's newspaper and in online as well. And hopefully they can get the job done, make history here on the edge of Europe and look forward to Conference League group stage football. And of course, uh, Shamrock Rovers are still in their Europa League playoff. Uh, they have a second leg to come against PAOK. They're 4-0 down, but they'll be hoping to join uh, Shamrock Rovers. And of course, we all know as well, it'll be the first time ever, should they get over the line, that it'll be two Irish clubs in European group stage football in the same season uh, for the first time ever. So as I said, you can follow all the latest with the Irish Independent ahead of a massive, massive night for St. Patrick's Athletic.